Hi guys. So this is my first vlog ever. Um, I've been in the process for gastric bypass for about past year, year and a few months. Now I had a hard time with my family doctor because he was telling me I was not fat enough or I was too young, but I did qualify for it with all the criteria needed. Now I've not expressed to many people that I am going for surgery because of negative people and people that like to judge and all that stuff. And I'm at the point now where I really don't care what people have to say. I am doing it for me. I'm doing it so that I'm better for my kids. I am doing it so that I can be happy and comfortable with myself. Now I did start my OptiFast today. I only need to do two weeks since I'm in the 200s and not in the threes. I did my pre-op uh, last week. I went to downtown to Toronto and met with the doctor, picked up my Opti. Now, I cannot do anything vanilla. I don't like vanilla perfume. I don't like vanilla body wash, anything. It gives me headaches. It makes me want to throw up. French vanillas, everything. Even coffee smells. So the fact that I couldn't get all chocolate of OptiFast was very discouraging. I did look for different ways of spicing it up. So I did buy some Crystal Light Raspberry um, to add to my OptiFast vanilla. I also bought some coconut and banana extract. Now this morning I did have just regular vanilla with cold water. First drink was okay, second was fine. Once it got to the third and to finish the whole thing, I didn't want to throw up. I had a headache. It was just ridiculous. I did do chocolate after. Chocolate was totally fine. Now, um, you're able to eat up to two cups of greens uh, while you're on OptiFast a day. So uh, you're only allowed celery, lettuce, cucumber, and green peppers. And you can have lemon juice and vanilla, uh, vanilla, sorry, vinegar to add to taste and salt and pepper. So for my lunch today, that's what I had. It was a cup of different greens as a salad. Forgot some lemon juice, so it was just plain, but whatever. It, it was food. It was not just OptiFast. I am also able to get have some sugar-free jello and sugar-free popsicles. So I have had some sugar-free jello today. Now, I did finish my third OptiFast of the day. I did a vanilla with the uh, banana extract and coconut extract, which I found in our book. They had said pineapple, but I could not find pineapple. So it tastes kind of like a pina colada, which I guess is okay without the alcohol. Now, I am enjoying this great salad with some lemon. Um, it just, you know, it'll fill you up more. It'll make your stomach heavy so you feel like you're you're not as hungry, right? I do have a lot of headaches today, I find, and that is one of the side effects because in the first two to three days, your body is in ketosis because it's only 800 calories that you're having. And if you're used to having, you know, 2,000 calories or more, it is a big shock to your body. Now, I am also get, going through new professional changes. I did start a, a new job in March, and I've been through training since then. And as of last week, I'm in the next step of training. And as of today, I'm by myself on the phones at a call center for the government. And it's been a rough day a little bit due to uh, having headaches from the Opti and um, just everything new is today. So I decided to start a vlog because to see from just even me personally on the changes that I will be doing every day. Also to help other people because I have watched vlogs since I've been in this process and I've learned so much from different people on what to expect, what to not expect, what they didn't tell you, a bunch of different stuff. And you also get to see the changes in yourself, in your face, in you know your body as you look back on these videos. So my goal is I'm not going to be doing one every day. Maybe when surgery comes, I'll be doing more often. But I just wanted to start today because I am in the first step of, you know, changing everything in the next two weeks. My surgery date is July 11th, 2018. I am two weeks away. I'm very excited. And I just got to keep telling myself if I don't do the Opti properly and I don't follow the steps like I'm supposed to, I will not be going for surgery. And this is something that I've wanted for a long time. I've struggled with my weight my whole life. I've always been the bigger kid. I've always been teased, bullied. I didn't learn how to skate because of that. It has stopped me from many things. And it has also put a strain on my marriage. It has put a strain on my sex life. It has put a strain on everything. And I'm just sick of it being my story. I don't want it when I pass away that somebody says, oh, well, she was such a good person. She helped everybody and she struggled with her weight her whole life. 
I don't want that being my story. I want my story being that I had lived a happy life, a healthy life. I was able to go biking with my kids, running with my kids. I enjoyed working out when I lost 70 pounds four years ago, you know, going to the gym and stuff. And I was at the gym two or three hours a day, four or five days a week. And, you know, eating and I was eating perfectly, but the portions were still big to be able to intake all the protein and all the healthy fats and stuff. So it will be a change because I will still be eating all the healthy stuff like I was, but smaller portions. And I have been doing proper steps to bring me to that. So I've been eating off a small plate. I've been, you know, somewhat measuring. I've been, I don't drink coffee, so I didn't have to take that out. I don't drink pop. I didn't have to take that out. So it's been kind of a, you know, learning curve in the past few months of what I have and can't do. But just the fact of knowing that things will get better and I will possibly be happier and healthier in the future helps me know that there's a silver lining and that this will not be my story. And my story now will be to be a better Ashley inside and out. I know people always say, oh, you know, you're beautiful or you're the pretty fat girl. I don't want to be the pretty fat girl anymore. I want to just be pretty. I just want to feel pretty. I want to be able to walk into a store and... No, I'd be like, is there plus size here? And is there one X really a medium? And is there large really small? Like, you know, and it's all made from China. And I want to be able to walk into, you know, La Vie en Rose and all these stores that we have here in Sudbury, which is not a lot compared to down south and in the States. I want to be able to just go in and be like, I know I'm going to fit. I believe my thing that I'm more excited about is going bra shopping and going underwear shopping and not having these granny panties and bras that have to be wide so you don't get all these back boobs in the back and, you know, have more of like these clothes that you have more uh, variety and not just like, you know, you go to Walmart and Costco and all plus size women are all wearing the same thing compared to all the skinny girls have different varieties and different options. So that is what I'm very looking forward to. So that is the end of my first video, and if I rambled, I am sorry, but I just figured this is going to help me. I didn't want to do this, but I figured, you know what, I don't care what people say. I already have a speech in my head for all those haters that I will tell them. I know they are not worth my breath, but I'm just the type of person, I say it how it is. So if I don't like them, I will let them know, and that's how we should be. We should let people know how we think and how we feel. Try to respect as you can do it, but I mean, it is what it is. Just keep loving yourself, just keep swimming, and that's what I've been doing. And I believe that, you know, I will keep swimming and I will keep loving myself and I will love myself more than I ever have once the process is starting and done. I know it will never be done, really, the process, but I mean, when I get to my goal weight, I know that I will be hopefully better. So that is it. Thank you for listening and to next time.